Welcome to another mind-blowing episode of Karen Go Burr. Get ready to dive deep into the chaotic realms of Karens. From Karen got beat up after throwing racial slurs at the wrong black woman, Karen refusing to call the fire department while innocent souls are trapped in an elevator, a Karen pilfers someone's pool donut and then spins a tale of victimhood when confronted, Karens accuse others of tax evasion, and unleash the classic Karen move, calling the cops, to the laughter-inducing eating chicken in front of a vegan Karen in front of K. FC. It's time to embark on this wild journey, Karen style. We dive headfirst into the melodrama with a Karen who's convinced public spaces are her personal stage. Watch as she unleashes her vocal prowess on a bewildered cashier for reasons known only to the Karen universe. <laughs> Imagine your peaceful shopping spree rudely interrupted by a serenade of Karen's vocal gymnastics. Is resigning from being a Karen an option at this point? Next up is an unthinkable saga. Karen's refusing to dial the digits for the fire department while innocent souls are trapped in an elevator. It's a gripping tale of elevator entanglement, Karen's, and limited oxygen. Check it out. And you guys refuse to call the fire department because you want to say Monday? The ETA, they did tell me that there is no ETA at the moment. I can't give you something I do not have. Yeah, but call the fire department. It's an emergency. Yes, of course, but as well, the fire department will also wait on the technicians as well. Oh, no, our suffering, so thank you. But I also need to keep the line clear. Unless there's an emergency in the elevator, but it's... We have a woman that's about to pass out. What's well, not the emergency? Well. Why on earth refuse to call the fire department when people are gasping for air? It's not like it's coming out of your paycheck. You can't be cheap now. It's, not, it's a lady here that speaks very bad. So even if it costs much more to call the fire department, you can't be cheap now. Believe it, they make a choice. To and again, they hang up. You know, like they again hang up. They yeah. don't care, man. Check your calls. Oh, she fainted. The absurdity reaches new heights. Justice for those elevator prisoners. Next, a lift driver tries to enforce the sacred seatbelt rule, and chaos ensues as entitled passengers make their stand. Hey. Hello, how are you? How many You're people? Here for Angel, right? Yes. How many people are you trying to pick? I can only pick up four. Oh, then we can. It's called Lyft. They call it Lyft Plus or Uber XL. I only have four seat belts, so that it would work for five. Like, I'm not paying a five dollar cancellation fee for something that I didn't have control of. The option is in the in the app. You can pick an XL. It, it didn't give me the option. Actually, I didn't have the option. I just said, just said, it just said re request pickup. So you got the. I didn't lift. have that. I didn't have that. I didn't have that at all. I only had set pickup. The girls probably thought they could dodge extra fees. I mean, no Lyft or Uber app allows more passengers than seatbelts. That's Ride Share 101. Uh, I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. I'm gonna call cops right now, thank you. Okay, you can call the cops and you can exit my vehicle. Right, so I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let you know that I will be reporting this to Lyft as well. That's fine, because Lyft didn't give me the option to port. Have a nice night. Calling the cops on a Lyft driver? That's one way to elevate the chaos. Kudos to the driver for keeping it professional. In the following clip, a Karen pilfers someone's pool donut and then spins a tale of victimhood when confronted. It's a tale of stolen inflatables and misplaced victimhood. Unbelievable. You took it out of my vent. I saw you took it off. No, I didn't. The lifeguard gave it to me. No. So either you get it back to me. I'll get security over here. What? I, I paid for that. You're following me. What are you talking about? That Should purple I one. Track? I paid security. for it. Where's security? security? No, I'm being dead serious. I paid for that shit. You know we brought that? No, you did There's not. not yeah, I saw you. Around. No, she just said the life I gave it to her. So don't, you're lying. A mature woman stealing in public and then playing the victim? The secondhand embarrassment is real. So, 
No, 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 Let go of me. Back up. Let go of me. Back up, man. Let go of me. No, 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 no. Let go of me. Stop. Let go of me. Back off, dude. You're going to be put on for this. Let go of me. Let go of me. I didn't he stole anything. my donut! This donut, this lady stole my donut from my thing! Are you recording? She stole my donut, yeah you did! She stole my donut! Give it back to me! Yeah I am! Give it back my stuff! That belongs to me! I don't care! Then give it back to me! No! Give me back my stuff! You stole my donut! Give me back my stuff! He's recording me without my Give me back my stuff! Give me back my stuff! You stole my stuff! He has every right to be mad. Security better deliver a reality check to this Karen. Why do Karens believe fire lanes are their personal parking spots? In this riveting saga, a Karen refuses to budge from the fire lane, weaving a tapestry of fabricated excuses instead of simply relocating her vehicle. I told you there were people parked in the fire. I'm going to be here. I know what you're here for. I'm going to be here for your life, she in the fire lane and she came and talking to the manager of Kroger yelling about this guy because he asked her did she have a fire and if she didn't to move out of the fire lane instead of owning up she's concocting tales that only serve to expose her fallacy so now she's worried about somebody else being embarked in the thing. She said, what if there was a fire? How would they get in? So she's basically proving the point that she should have never been parked in that fire lane. Picture this. Cops called on you, and instead of remorse, you're shouting at the sheriff. The audacity. Prepare for a narrative twist as a male Karen vents his frustration on people visiting his town. The drama intensifies when a lady Karen joins the spectacle for a street side showdown. Yeah, I'm being harassed by out of town protesters in black uh, gear down here downtown, right in front of the CP Federal Building. They're down here in black garb, head and toe, you know, here telling me that they, we don't need, I don't need to worry. The girl Karen's selfie game is on point, capturing either .5 times pictures or 2012 Facebook. Facebook mom selfies. Where, who yeah, they're with. doesn't know his first amendment rights. Yeah, yeah. Well, good, thank you. That's right. Right. You, need you, you need to get out of our Back town. Away. You need to get out of our town. Back away. You need to get out of our town. Getting up close and personal. Where's the boundary, Karen? This is not a personal town monopoly. Oh, okay, so are, are you a private again. investigator? Are you working for a public well, service? I, I don't want to say that. What's though. your name, sir? You want to identify yourself with all the questions? Yeah. You got all these questions. What's your well, name? as soon as you identify I yourself, I, I live in Jackson, Michigan, and I live for my whole life. So yeah. same here. Show me your ID. Same Karen, here. can I see your ID, Karen? Around here. What's your ID? I showed you my ID. So then you should get take it away a different tone instead of I showed you my ID. I showed you my ID. Oh, that dog does not like those guys. Do these folks have jobs walking around proclaiming territory rights on streets? Hold on to your gardening gloves as this Karen unleashes fury on the lawn crew for no apparent reason, accusing them of betrayal. Partnerships and pettiness collide. Sarah, how are you? Miss Sarah, huh? You're being nice to me now that you went behind my back. No! When did I go behind your back? I just had a conversation about my payment. I because I couldn't leave a payment. I didn't leave a payment. But, but you left me a note about your cat, Pete, and then... I told you to. And then you left me some kind of donations or something. So that's why I went to, that's why I went to, well, Sarah, Sarah, that's why I went to Tom. That's all I'm trying to say. I had to get paid. That's all. Well, you got paid, but you get what you deserve. We're going to go ahead and uh, get started, okay? Uh-huh. All right. I'll let you know. Karen. Pettiness level off the charts. It's like a soap opera, but with lawnmowers. In the next chapter, Karens make assumptions, accuse others of tax evasion, and unleash the classic Karen move, calling the cops. Fasten your seatbelts for a wild ride. These are the rules we have to follow by. Okay. According to the city law. Yeah, they're already on the way out here. Oh, they're on the way. Well, see, the thing was, I, I just wanted to make sure everything was clear. Like, I, I 
when you're holding the law in your hand, you're holding... Well, we have a sheriff on the way out here, so we would like them to tell us. Karens, please learn the art of minding your own business. Why intervene in others' affairs? This is very against me. Okay, well, I'm you not... are doing business illegally or unlicensed. How do, you, how do you know I'm unlicensed? Show me your license. Why would I? Show me your license to do business. But, but why would you assume that I am unlicensed? No, I know you're not licensed because I am the licensed contractor for okay. Dunedin Causeway. Okay, so they don't with give you. another license. Unless I give it to you, you don't have it. Okay. That's how I know. See, I wasn't aware of any of this. Nobody has ever told me. Did, you approached me. Did it ever occur to you to learn the laws of business before you just set up a business? Well, this is kind of not my business. This is just like I make home and So it's business. You're selling money. Do you have a tax ID number? I've been in business, business for 50 years. Okay, I understand. I just don't understand why you're coming up. <laughs> because I have been very patient with you. Watch for a very long time. How does their business affect her? Maybe she's just jealous of their thriving enterprise. And then I asked well, how, you, please how are leave. we supposed to know? Yeah, we well, you were supposed to do research. You said, you said pack up all your sh and you came up very rudely about it. I said pack up your stuff and please go. And I told you why. Okay. Well, right, I would well, just call the cops. No, they're yeah, they're already on the way out here. They're already on the way. I'm not trying to be rude or anything yeah, like I have that. My paper. I, I thought it was no, that's mine. Well, let her read it first. I would like Get to read it. it. Inform yourself. Yes, please. It's always good to educate, but in the proper way. You know? She's not answerable to you, Karen. Leave her be. Brace yourselves as Karens disrupt a noble water cleaning endeavor by the bridge. The locals even admit the guy's a jerk. How embarrassing! Up there, hey, we're, uh, we're well, playing trash out there. Yeah, I'm sorry, who, who are you? I'm the mayor of Wilmington. Do you have any signs right there that says we can't do that? Yeah, you, you want me to call the cops? I dumb. Well, okay, you, know, you, know me, you know how you fuck people are fell on this river? And we got three lawsuits right now because of guys like you. I, we didn't do anything. I don't know why you're coming I don't want you standing up on that bridge. Well, then you, you know what you need to do? You need to put some signs right there that say we should. He's probably dialing up the cops. Classic Karen move. Embarrassing indeed. Well, are you I, the, are you that dumb? Clean up trash. It's We're it's cleaning your city. For good you. for you. I don't want you on top of the bridge. I, I, I've been doing this yeah. for three years, man. I ain't never fell in once. Yeah. Well, what's that mean? And I, I literally do this for a living. Uh, all right. Well, you're gonna find out in a couple minutes here. Stay right there. Stay there. Be here. Even the locals recognize this absurdity. Some people, huh? Get ready for a vegan saga featuring a Karen unleashing fury on someone just for enjoying their chicken. It's a clash of dietary preferences with a side of ridiculousness. <coughs> You're right there, mate. You're right there. Had a bad day today, mate. Had a bad day. And you're not having it eating chicken. I'm a vegan. Why are you eating that? Because we're outside of KFC. That doesn't make it right, does it? Oh, well, it does make it right. I'm from Belfast. We, we're much more caring and loving than you, you wee people. Okay, so so you can't eat chicken now because you're from I Belfast. I don't eat chicken. Yeah, yeah I know you don't eat chicken. I know you don't eat chicken it's because you're vegan. For you. Well, it is good for you. It is it's good for foul. You. It's not foul. F O U L. Foul. Well done. You like can, you. Well done. You can I spell. I give you a red card. You can, you can spell. Yeah, well done. Foul for you. And you're a vegan. You want some? I... You want some? The idea that makes me ill. Do you know that? Yeah, that's fine. I'm a celiac as yeah, well. You know that? What, what is I don't that? Know what it is. I got a weed allergy. A weed allergy? If you don't like chicken, step away from the KFC. Let people enjoy their drumsticks in peace. I want outside of KFC for me. I, I, I don't like it. Yeah, so, so, so... I just parked my car and Why here. are you outside of KFC if you don't like it? I don't like... The, I don't like people eating chicken. I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, but he's eating right. chicken right now, yeah. But you're outside of KFC and you don't like people eating chicken. It's because I parked my car here, right, mate? All right, why do you do that? Do that? I'm and a you're standing vegan. The, yeah, yeah I, I can see you're a vegan. I can yeah. see you're a vegan, mate. That like, you're not your brother, are you? I don't know life, too. How do you murder for your extended eating? I feel sick, though. Yeah, and I feel sick from you. Oh, no need for that, either of you. You're right, you're right wasting your time, mate. I'm just saying, I think it's time. You're killing the environment, people like you. You're, you're really killing like... the environment, mate. Mate, are you sure you don't want one? I can't eat them all on my own. I do not want any chicken. Expecting people not to eat chicken in front of KFC? Now that's next level vegan drama. Next, a Subway showdown as Karens order sandwiches, then conveniently forget their wallets, leaving the poor cashier in alert. Yes. You guys, he's over here eating the damn sandwich because he know he doesn't have the money. 
And then these guys over here trying to play pity pity. Hey, all you guys, if you guys don't have the money, then get the f All you guys, go. Why, why are you guys gonna make, why are you guys gonna make him pay for your sh if you know you don't have the money? You guys get the f out. Go, you guys know what you're doing, go. Get out. Eating away without a care, knowing they're walletless. The audacity. That shit pisses me off, it really does. You see it all the time. I'm sorry to be dis disturbing you guys, but I'm over here watching the damn guys over here picking his pockets, trying to take it out of his pockets, but nah. If they don't have the money, then just tell them the f off, you know? You guys know what you guys got into? Get the heck out of here. Just as better be served. Call the cops and don't let these Karens off the hook. Get ready for a facepalm worthy encounter as a policeman harasses a guy waiting in his car for his friend. Absolute nonsense in 3, 2, 1. Uh, what? What? What, mate? You mind telling me what you're doing here, please? Well, I'm, I'm waiting at the train station, mate. Can you tell me why you've been sitting in the car for the last 35 minutes? Why have you been counting how long I've been waiting for? Well, we've had reports of a suspicious vehicle sitting here for 35 minutes. It's a minutes. Tesla, mate. Uh, the Tesla's suspicious. I'm like, I've not been here for 35 minutes. Uh, I'm, I'm finish, out here waiting. Uh, will you let me finish, please, sir? Okay. We can get this sorted out a lot more quickly if you'll allow me to Sort what out? Uh, if you'll allow me to talk to yourself and explain what the problem is, okay, what is we can get through this. Uh, can you please stop interrupting me, Sam? Okay, yes? Yep. Some of them are taxis, some of them are normal people going about their everyday business. Yeah, and I'm going about my find, everyday business. Uh, I'm waiting for my friend. Yes, and who's your friend? What do, you, what do you mean, who's my friend? Who is your friend that you're waiting for? Well, why is it any, any of your concern? It's my concern because I need to ensure there's not a crime in progress. What? How is waiting at the train station a crime? Waiting at the station's not a crime, but if a crime is in the process of being commissioned, I need to find out. But I'm, the quicker but you can answer my question, sir. I'm not, I'm, I'm sir, not I'm waiting for my friend. The quicker you can answer my questions. Waiting at the train station in a Tesla equals a crime suspect? Makes zero sense. I need to eliminate you as a suspect from the crime that may or may not be currently in progress. So you're saying if that- you, if, you, if you're unwilling to allow me to eliminate you, then we'll have to take the matter further and you'll be in a whole lot of additional trouble beyond so, 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 so I can see your car over there, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, your car's all the way there. You've been waiting there, yeah? Just been watching me. I've been watching you for at least 35 well, minutes. Well, maybe you haven't because I've been here for about 10 minutes. I'm, I'm literally waiting for my friend. Well, why sit there waiting for him? Because the train station is right there. That is where he's going to go off from. Well, may I suggest that you wait at the train station. Policeman, please make sense. Where should he wait for his friend? You're in your car, sir. Well, yeah, like, where do you want me to be? It's not my problem where you are. I just need to ensure that but you're not doing... Here now. I just... Sir, if you're going to keep arguing I'm with me... Arguing with yes, you are. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm sat in my car. You're arguing. I'm not arguing. You're sitting there wasting my time. But you think come I'm, to me. Do you think I've got... Sir? Do you think... You think you've got, sir? sir? Do you... Do you think I've got time to sit here okay, so talking to, to a comment, sir? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Right. Names, places, Train prices. Station, that's a place. Prices? This conversation is beyond absurd. Close that window and just save yourself. Hold on to your sanity as a Karen starts screaming at another lady for waiting at a bus stop. Public property, Karen. Public property. You ain't scared and you were scared. You ain't been and walked off. Why would I walk off? We're getting on the same bus. No, we ain't getting no What you need to do is stop sitting around me playing all them goddamn games and take your ass on about your business, Bob. It's a stop down there, right there. It ain't that food. And it's one right there. Why don't Why you go walk there? to it then? Because I always sit right here. Okay. And you don't run. Okay. So get your Away from me. Come on, man. She's scared of me, but she's still right here. Man, I told her to stop right there and this one right there. Why is she still come right here? Come on, bro. Come on, man. Get away from me. Bro. I'm waiting for my bus and she girl, starts. For your bus, baby. That's alone, man. She's That's screaming at me. What are you talking yeah, about? All right, come look, look. Come, come no, on, don't listen to her. They, they're full of right, I ain't never seen her ass nowhere over here before, right, and she gonna bring her ass over here. Come over there, bro. Where I ain't, you, I ain't going nowhere. She need to go right, and take right, her hey, ass man, somewhere. Hey, man, look, bro. Stop all that hogging out here, man. She need to get the hell away from okay, her. Okay, but stop all the hogging, bro. Talking all this crazy. What? Man. Away from me. Come on, man. Get your ass over here. Come on, man. Get your ass over here. Come on, man. Get your ass over here.
away from me, girl. I don't know you and you don't hey, know me. Chill out. Ganging up on her for waiting? This is borderline harassment. No, I'm talking about no, but you scared. Yeah. You no, know, but you're scared. Yeah. You is a lying fucker. You okay. know that? You ain't scared of me. Okay. You're not scared of me because you wouldn't be right here still. That's fine. Stupid. Can be scared and stand you my are, ground. No, you are damn liar. Bitch. You are a damn fool. Oh, then I'm not scared if of you. If you were scared, ho, you wouldn't be still standing right okay, here. Okay, then I'm not scared. You're trying to sit your ass <laughs> up under me. That's what you're trying to do. Oh, yeah. You gotta get your <laughs> away from me. Uh huh. Bye. Adios. Bye. Adios. You trying to make a <laughs> fucker slap your stupid ass, but I'm not gonna do that because you're not worth going to jail over. You better get your ass the <laughs> fuck about my <laughs> fucking way, ho. You dumbass. <laughs> Am I in your way? Bye. <laughs> Are you moving get somewhere? Your Stop the abuse! I'd start yelling back at this point. Oh my god, I'm the stupid. I don't give a who they call. That better get her ass away from me. That's what I do know. Calling the cops is, is not on my radar. I don't care. I want you. Okay. I don't care who you're to. Bitch, I know You were screaming at me for like three minutes straight. I didn't know the who you were talking to. She wanna make she me slap the fuck out of her ass. Hi, wait. You dumb bitch. Oh, I'm the dumb bitch. Uh, I'm the pig. Well, I've been over here for years. I have never seen you before. I don't so where the hell you come from all of a sudden? Don't play. Don't sit here and play with me, okay? I'm not playing with you either, okay? There is a million other stops on this same road. One right there, and there's one right there. But you're going to come sit right here because you know I'm coming to sit right here. That's why you came here. How would I know if you're I know you turn? was. I know you was. I know you was. Don't act stupid. Paranoia at its finest. Watch with the frustration. And now, the main event. This Karen went beyond the pale, throwing racial slurs, including the N-word, at two black women. Stay tuned as Karma delivers a swift and well-deserved response. No, girl, I slap out of you. You shut up. What you want to do? What you want to do? That's exactly what I thought. You'll get the beat out of you. Oh, I'm about to be her ass. A few moments later. Who you calling? She called us a Help me. She called us a For real? Yes, she did. She did. She did. She did. She did. I don't want to hear. She did. She called us. I don't care. She definitely. She definitely. She definitely did. That's disrespectful. To me and your Absolute chaos. Racial slurs deserved consequences. Ready for a trip to the hair salon, girly? As we conclude this riveting episode of Karen Go Burr from the explosive showdown where Karen got beat up after throwing racial slurs at the wrong black women, to the elevator drama, pool donut pilfering, tax evasion accusations, and the hilarious eating chicken in front of a vegan Karen at KFC, it's been a wild journey. Share your favorite Karen moment in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe for more doses of Karen absurdity. Until our next adventure, Stay safe and Karen-free, everyone!